Staging me? Oh, I'm oh, here. I'm here. Sorry, <laughs> a bit late. How are you anyway? I'm alright. Uh, What's that whiff in here? Stings. Is that Dan and Jeff? They've been bringing animals in here or something. Oh, yeah, I'll just rub it off the us. That's just the way they smell. Mm. Uh, right. Uh, you know what? I was thinking on the way in. I think we should tell them. You know what? About our big secrets. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lost. Well, I'm going to tell them. Out showing me, I've got a little secret. Well, quite a big secret, actually, that we'd like to tell you. No, I'm an elf. And we're going to be telling you after Sorry I've Got No Head. Or, or if you're not particularly interested in our big secret, you could always watch Ed Nacho's Excellent Inventions over on BBC One at five past four. Not that we're encouraging you to watch another channel, obviously, because our job is to promote the CBBC channel. We wouldn't do that. Turn us. Yeah, turn over in about 40 minutes. Hey, turn see you in a bit. Turn on us. CBBC! Honestly, they'll be fine. No! They'll be fine. No! I think they will need to know. Hello! Hello there. Um, Oucho and I have been talking to each other. We've decided there's something that we need to tell you. Yeah, you may have seen us whispering. It, it's a big secret, and I think it's time that we shared it with you now. Hmm? Yeah, don't do this. I'm going to do this. I think people ought to know. The big news, the big thing that we'd like to tell you. Okay. Lock the door. I suppose, yeah, it is quite secret actually. Okay, I'm just going to lock the door. Hang on. Oh. Actually, I just shut the window as well. Okay. Right. The big secret. The thing oh, I want to tell you. Lock the drawers. Lock the drawers. There's not going to be anybody in the fire cabinet. Okay, right. I'll lock the drawers. I'll lock the drawers. I think you're being a bit paranoid. Okay. Right. Oh, Shirley! Where is she? Oh, and the Gustav Cleaners. She's gone to the clinic. Thing. Again? Mm. She's riddled that woman. Mm. Right, okay. Right, at least she's not here. So, the big news, the thing we've been whispering about, <laughs> our big secret. We want. Oh, hang on. Oh, news round's about to start. What? Oh, we'll see you after that. Oh. Thank you, news round. Oh. Now, earlier on, Outro and I were going to tell you a little secret. Yes. Oh, eh. Hmm? Eh, the door's locked, yes, yes. the door's locked, yes, yes. How about the windows? Yeah, the window's still shut, yes. Oh, eh. That's jolly. Well, she only went down the clinic, didn't she? That's oh, what you said. Yeah, yes, there's no possible way we can be disturbed now. Oh, eh, the bowl. Sorry. Not now, all right? Eh, eh, but I don't mean the hook. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> OK. There's no possible way we can be disturbed. We are going to save... Yeah, the bowl. How is this possible? Oh. It's off the... What?! Oh. Right. Where were we? Oh, right, yes, yes, yes. We are going to save Saturday morning TV. Because the... Saturday morning TV is boring right oh, now. Dear, it's dear. boring, apart from the CBBC oh, stuff. Boring. It's all cookery shows. No. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, and Basil <laughs> Brush. No, no, actually, no, I like Basil Brush. I, I like... <laughs> I, any, anyway, the sad thing is, we've got to go away and hatch our plans, right? Which means we're leaving the CBBC office next Friday, unfortunately. <laughs> Don't worry, Ross. we will be back on your screens <laughs> quite soon. Yeah. Now, just keep this between us and you, OK? Don't tell anyone else. Ross. We'll see you after Bear behaving badly. Oh, yeah. it is. I say, not even Nev the Bear is as badly behaved as us. Oh, no, I <laughs> actually, no, actually, no one's as badly behaved as Nev no. the Bear. <laughs> He's very naughty. Very, very, very more. Very. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. Now, if you weren't watching before Bear Behaving Badly, you won't know that Outro and I have got a little plan to take over the weekend, Deep. which means we're leaving next Friday. Uh -huh. uh, actually, we've got to think about what to take with us. Ah, uh, the two dust pool. Yeah, we haven't got a totem pole. Uh, oh, that's a lot of clubbies. 
No, I think the Station Co Beast is definitely staying here. He's nothing but trouble. Uh, nothing in a holla. Oh, the Shredder Hamster. <laughs> Oh, no, no, please don't take me. Oh, I don't think I can stand you too much longer. Oh, this is my chance to get rid of the both of you, you pair of drips. Oh, oh. Look at his cute little face. <laughs> How can we leave him behind? <laughs> no, no, oi, what part of I hate you don't you understand, eh? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, they can't take me if I'm not here. Oh, ton of light. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's it. Get up. <coughs> oh, 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 I wish I'd changed me bedding before I started this. Oh, it's actually quite grim. Oh, well, can't win them all, eh? Mm -hmm. oh, uh, Look at him playing in his cage uh, there. Yeah. Don't you worry, mate. You're definitely that's coming with us. Day. See you yeah. off to Sean the Sheep. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hello! Welcome back to the CBBC office. Uh, oh, actually, do you know I've only got six days left to stay in that before Ouch and I go away to start taking over the weekend? Oh, oh, sorry, yes, don't tell anyone. Oh. Top secret. I wonder if I'm going to miss saying hello, welcome to the CBBC office. I say it loads, don't I? Mm. Maybe I'll start saying it when I leave the house in the morning. <laughs> hello, welcome to the CBBC office. Or in my sleep. Hello, welcome to the CBBC office. I wonder if I'm capable of starting a sentence any other way. <laughs> You oh, won't miss that pigeon. Shut up, will ya? Hey. Oh, oh, did I hear you mention a weekend show, my dears? Oh, that sounds awfully jolly, awfully jolly indeed. Ha, this could be my big break. Uh, uh, maestro, please. Oh, I'll miss this old place. So long, farewell, au vida, saying adieu, adieu. Adieu to you and you and you. <laughs> the big time show business. Ha <laughs> ha suck in it? Da -da, Pidgey, da -da. Oh. Well, I'll tell you one thing. We definitely won't be taking him with us. <laughs> uh, here's Dick and Dom. Oh, hey. hmm? Come on, Dick and Dom, Miros. Yeah, we can't take Dick and Dom with us. Huh. Dick and Dom wouldn't work on a Saturday morning. Dick and Dom on a Saturday. <laughs> You've got a lot to learn about TV, young man. <laughs> Hmm. I love the legend of Dick and Dom. Dee. I love it. Dee. I can't believe that was the last one. Oh. I hope they make another series. Mm, yep, it is. Yes. I could talk about how much I love it all day, but mm. I can't. Because I have a special announcement to make. Oh. Because it's Easter, tomorrow we're going to be visited by a certain special someone. Uh, the key? No, not the Queen. Terry? No, not your mate Terry. Uh, no, not the entire cast of Billy Elliot, the musical. No, 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 no. No, stop it! This fella, Monsieur Pamplemousse, the French chef. Oh, Remember him? I do. Yeah, yeah, he's going to be in tomorrow and he wants to see your eggs and buns. Because it's Easter. He's oh. fascinated with how English people celebrate Easter. So if you paint a little egg for Easter, take a picture of you with your egg, send it in. Or if you're eating some hot cross buns, because it's Good Friday, <laughs> do something silly with them. Like, I don't know, do do this, maybe. <laughs> See? <laughs> Outro likes this. Oh, no, yeah. Bit too much, actually. Oh, it's morning. not that funny, mate. Yeah. Send it to this address. CBC oh. at bbc.co.uk. Mm -hmm. You can be insulted by Monsieur Pampermousse mm -hmm. and get on the telly. Now, I also have another special announcement to make. Uh, how do you hear about the disbelievers, Matthew? No, it's nothing to do with your mate Terry. Oh. Actually, I've built it up a little bit too much now, actually. It's, um, it's time for Tracy Beaker. Oh. Hello there! Hello! No, not you. I was talking to them. We've been together all afternoon, haven't we? Oh, are you? Yes. Now, hey. if you were watching earlier, you'll know that Outro and I, uh, we've got a little secret plan up our sleeve. Hey. We're leaving the office hmm. end of next week. Oh, we're... did he? Eh? Yeah? I'm all nervous. You were thinking... Did yeah. I buy my name? Did this be this? You thought it might be nice, yes, to do what? Hey, yeah, I was in Mr. Outro, did you not know that? To dress up as Mr. Outro before we leave? Did hey. Uh, um, uh, no. Pee. No. No. Well, there's a lot of problems, you see. Uh, I've only just washed the outfit. I've only just washed it, so it, it isn't dry, and I can't remember where I put it anyway. Even though I just said I just washed it. Pee. Uh, and, and you know that little ball you used to look in to do Mr. Coucho and predict the future and everything. I, I sold that what? and bought this. So. Oh, pee. Yeah. Pest power doesn't work. Pee. 
Yeah, right, yeah. Oh, dear. How good. Yes. Would you like to have your future predicted by mm. Mystic Outro? Oh. Yeah? Yeah, just email in to this address, cbbc at bbc.co.uk. What would you like to know about your future? Maybe you'd like to know where all your Easter eggs are going to be hidden or, or something that isn't to do with Easter at all. Or email in. Or, or possibly that, if you're a cactus. Email in. Email in. He'll predict your future after... Give me a break.